Today I'm be trying a GNC exclusive flavor of G Fuel. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do food and product reviews. Like I said, today I have a GNC exclusive, a flavor that you can only get at GNC, well, in can form, that is. It is Miami Nights. So GNC is now starting to carry G Fuel and they have several different flavors, but they have two exclusive flavors in can form, Miami Nights and Divine Peach, which I will be reviewing here later today and the video will be up today or tomorrow. So right now we're gonna be checking out Miami Nights. So Miami Nights is a strawberry, coconut, and pineapple mixture of flavors. So we'll see how this tastes, especially in can form. So the cool thing about Miami Nights and Divine Peach, I believe at least one of the other ones I got from GNC, is something that I've been saying for some time with G Fuel and some of the other brands that put out these cans, is G Fuel used to put out 300 milligrams of caffeine in their cans. And you can still get them. Some of the ones you get from GNC, some of the older cans, I think uh, Sonic Rings, and I'd have to look at the cans I have. I know a few of them still are 300 milligrams, but these new ones, like Miami Nights, 140 milligrams right there. Same thing with Divine Peach, 140 milligrams. So this is something I've been preaching or stating for a while. And I'm not saying G Fuel's ever even watched it in my videos. I'm sure they haven't. So they didn't change it because of me. I'm sure many other people were saying the same thing. Like, could you lower the caffeine level? Like I like to have at least two a day, you know, one for breakfast, one for lunch. If I'm having 300 milligram drinks, I chose not to drink G Fuel because of that reason. I went with like Monster or even Ghost. Ghost is 200, so that's about the max I wanted to go. So it's nice to see they're putting out some flavors that are a little lower in caffeine, but we'll see. How is the taste on this? And again, like with all G Fuel, um, zero sugar, zero fat, the can here, 65 milligrams of sodium. We got a glass here, so we'll pour it out. We can see what color it is and see how this Miami Nights is. These were $2.99 at GNC. Again, they have, I think, five or six different flavors. So go in there and you, can, you don't have to buy them in a 12 pack or anything. You can buy individual cans. That's what I did. I stocked up on quite a few of them. So let's get this cracked open and taste it. I do like the color of this can. It does speak Miami Beach to me. You got some palm trees in the background there. Your little strawberry coconut pineapple drink. I don't drink alcohol that really anymore at all, so I wouldn't even know. If you have it in the comments below what that drink would be called with alcohol in there, probably put some rum in there, I, I would I believe, or vodka. There you go, the Miami Nights can. Again, cool looking can. Let's see, how does it taste? I hope it tastes good because I got quite a few of these. Because the GNC here in my town closed down, so I had to drive 45 minutes to the closest GNC. I didn't want to have to go back again soon. Um, clear color. Take off my glasses to see for sure. Yeah, I mean, there you go. This, I was just looking to see if there was any tint to it at all, and I don't really see any tint to that. Definitely get the coconut smell to it. Kind of a pina colada smell. All right. Miami Nights. Coconut up front. Still coconut. Trying to see if I'm picking up anything else other than, I should be getting some strawberry. I should be getting some pineapple. I'm hoping those flavors start to come around because I don't want just coconut. Maybe the slightest strawberry in the aftertaste. I'm not picking up pineapple though. Hmm. Yeah, very coconutty flavor. More coconut than anything else. I'm trying to think of how I feel about this. This would be, I think, I mean, obviously, Miami Nights. If you're in Florida, it's a hot or wherever. If it's a nice and it's cold right now. It's like 30 degrees here in Michigan. This isn't really the drink for this type of weather or you know, early in the morning, maybe a later in the evening drink, hot summer day or afternoon, whatever, on a nice hot summer day. This would be delicious. Right now, just not kind of feeling, not in the coconut vibe. I would have wished the strawberry 
was stronger tasting in this drink than the coconut. The, the coconut was took a back seat to the strawberry and pineapple. I wish those flavors were out a little more. Leave in the comments below, have you tried uh, Miami Nights? I, you can get it on a tub, in a tub online from the G Fuel website. So let me know, have you tried the, the tub? I haven't had that. I don't know, maybe I'll pick that up sometime and compare it to these to see the difference between the tub versus the can. Um, yeah, not loving it, not hating it. If I gave it a ranking out of 10, this is probably like a six. Again, if it was 90 degrees out and I'm hot and sweating, I might give this a nine. But right now when it's 30 degrees out, just not feeling, not in the coconut vibe. I gotta be on a beach somewhere to enjoy this. I mean, I'll probably drink them. I think I got like three or four or more of them. They'll get drank at some point in time, you know, and I'll, I'll see, you know, how I feel if, if I like it better. Just first reaction and just little, I wanted the strawberry to be the, the main focus of this drink. I wanted that to be the main flavor with the other coconut and pineapple, just little hints, but it's just mainly coconut I'm tasting. So there you go, I'm gonna give it a six. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Like I said, Divine Peach, I'm probably gonna film it right now after this video. That'll be up either later today or tomorrow. Hopefully that's another good one. And then I got a bunch more cans, like I said, four or five more. I'll be putting those videos up. And I did get my uh, stainless steel G Fuel shaker. So I'll be doing a video on that one too. Comparing it to a regular shaker, how long is it gonna keep your drink cold for? And I think I said in my last video, like I drink my G Fuel when I shake it up really quickly. Why would I need it to stay cold for a long time? Well, maybe you wanna make one up and take it to work with you or to school or wherever, or, and it has like a, has this little like handle where you can hook it to a carabiner, carry it with you. So, you know, if you made it up, that's what we're gonna find out is how long will it stay cold in, if you make this up in the morning, you're gonna drink it at lunch at school or something. How long will it stay cold? How long will that ice keep this cold? You know, is it gonna last? I'll probably test it every half hour till it goes warm, you know, four hours or so. I don't think we need to go much longer, four or five hours, but we'll check that out. I just realized this goes really good with the Miami Nights. I mean, look at those colors. Even though this isn't a Miami Nights uh, G Fuel stainless steel shaker, shaker, it's the Charlotte Hornets. That's what they call it. Again, uh, so I will do a video on this testing how long it lasts and we'll see how many hours we can keep a G Fuel cold in there. All right, I'll see you guys next time.